Hello everyone. Hope everyone had a great Memorial weekend. Uh, it was out of the ordinary here. We actually had nice weather. That never happened, so not sure what that's about. Kind of threw me off a little bit. I was like, it's Memorial Day and it's sunny. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, so I just wanted to hop on for a minute and um, bring everyone's attention to something kind of serious. We're going to take a step away from Chantel for a little bit. You remember how I was talking about how gross Chantel's house is and everything? Um, I think I found a contender. Now, has anyone heard of Shani for Christ? Now, listen, I was on the fence about reacting to any of her her nonsense because, let's face it, this woman is just, she's trash, okay? She's trash. You heard it here, folks. I try to be kind and loving and say nice things. I'm sorry, I just don't have anything nice to say about Shani. Shani is blocked on my Twitter. <laughs> I'm thinking about unblocking her because... Like, bring it on, bitch. You know? <laughs> like, come at me, bitch. <laughs> you want to pick on someone your own size? Um, well, I mean, I'm like half your size. More than half your size. But, y you know, like, I'm an adult. Do you want to pick on an adult instead of a child for a change? Or a helpless animal for a change? Come at me, yo. So for those of you who are not aware who Shani for Christ is, she is, I'm just going to say it all, like I'm just not going to hold back here. She is racist. She is ignorant. She is stupid. She is trash. She is a verbally abusive, mentally abusive. She is, um, she is neglectful. She's a slob. I don't even know if we can call her a slob. Like, remember how I said Chantel lives in squalor? I mean, Chantel's house is like OCD clean compared to this chick, you know? Like, I've seen cleaner houses on hoarders. Okay, so I have spent a greater part of the last 24 hours just watching all this mess and just trying to figure out what the hell is going on here. And I had a lot of questions. I was seriously lost. I had to watch a lot of live streams just to figure out what the hell was even happening. So here's here's the breakdown for you guys. I thought I would give a condensed breakdown of what is going on and then hopefully a cohesive solution to the problem that I myself will not be able to do, but maybe a cohesive idea that can be put out into the universe so that there is a working solution to this problem. Now, Shani and Rev ain't gonna like my solution. I don't care. <laughs> Sorry. Um, so Shani is, I don't even know. She, so Shani and her boyfriend, husband, he goes by Rev. They, they came into an inheritance so they're on youtube they're the typical white trash people you know faces of walmart people people you see at walmart that you would like snap a picture of on the down low like you'd see them and you'd be like oh shit, i gotta share this to people of walmart you know that's them rev came into an inheritance um of i want to say close to a million dollars and they have managed to squander their entire wealth on useless crap. Like I heard Sh um, Shani, I almost called her Chantel. Oops, sorry Chantel. That's a terrible, that's a terrible mistake to make for you. Shani and Chantel, let me apologize in advance. I am so sorry. <laughs> I mean, Chantel is a pain in the ass, but she's not that bad, you know what I'm saying? It's back to my story. So they came into some sort of inheritance. They squandered all their money on useless crap like video games, um, a PlayStation, uh, eating out, expensive dinners, like some luxury apartment. You come into an inheritance, the first thing you should 
consider is investing, maybe putting money aside for your kid's education because she's got two kids. I will get back to those kids. They don't know the meaning of the word adult, so they just spend their money. And, and the fact that they would call <laughs> the rest of us it's like poor or like we're beneath them or, you know, just treat us like we're just peasants, like, excuse me. So it's just kind of laughable when she's like, oh, these peasants, these broke ass peasants. I'm like, oh, bitch, shut up. <laughs> Girl, please. Girl, bye. <laughs> they seemingly squandered all their money away. And then he, Rev, leased a car, which... <sighs> I guess there's a time and a place to lease a car. Um, there might be good... Let me know in the comments of, a, of someone you know or you yourself who leased a car and it was actually... A, like, it made sense. I know it's out there, I know it's a thing, and I know that leasing for some people is a really good option, but for those two, I'm gonna go with nah. It just seems like a terrible idea to lease a car because you're not allowed to put very many miles on it. You're not, there's just not much wiggle room you can do. I personally, leasing cars is not for me. You could have bought yourself a nice car too. Like not like a fancy car, but you could have gotten yourself like a nice car, like a nice SUV. <laughs> like even those freaking minivans, some of them are dope. You know what I mean? Like you could have got yourself a nice minivan. What's her name around, you know, Jabba the Hutt around. I mean, it would make sense to get a minivan anyways. No, they don't do that because they are devoid of logic and reason. Like, they're just stupid. I try to be, like, a nice person. I try to see, like, I try to see the best in everyone. I can't find the best in these guys. So, they squandered the money. And then they were, like, begging people for money, like, on, like, crowd fundraisers, cash apps. Like, we need money. I'm like, dude, that's tacky. Asking your fans for money because you can't manage your money is tacky. I would, like, if I had came into financial trouble, do you think I would ask you guys for money? No. I, I wouldn't even, if, if anyone offered to give me money, I'd be like, no. No, 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 no. No. Because that's awkward. I don't. That's not what, that's not what you're here for. Like, that's not what this relationship that we, it's not like, don't get it twisted. Any potential stalkers. <laughs> Leave your best stalking comment down below. <laughs> like, let's have fun with what I just said. But you know, our relationship, that's not what it is. <laughs> you're not here to fund my lifestyle. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's not what you're here for. I'm here to give you content and to keep you entertained. And, you know, that's basically my job and to put a new perspective on things. It's not your responsibility to pay my bills. No, that's tacky. That is beyond tacky. As my grandmother would say, that is uncouth. But then, um, I guess they got evicted. Well, no, I don't, I guess, I know they got evicted. I saw the eviction notice. I mean, they were very more than happy to show us. And Sean, shit, Shani proceeded to have a fake panic attack. <clears throat> um, yeah, that was the, that was some good acting, like, golf clap, golf clap. Hey, that's some good acting, like, <gasps> I can't breathe, I can't breathe. Bitch, you knew about this though. Like that's the funny part about an eviction notice is they give you another, they give you plenty of warnings. And I was actually watching someone's live stream and they actually had footage of her a few months back talking about this eviction that was on the horizon. And she was just like, and she was playing fucking Animal Crossing and she's just like, oh well, fuck it. <laughs> like, yeah, that's your motto to life. Oh well, fuck it. That's what you do for everything, you nasty turd. So they got evicted. And the funny thing is, is about evictions. I mean, even I know, especially with COVID, there's like eviction moratoriums and there's ways you can fight it. And 
you know, they, they might tell you you have to be out by within 72 hours, but like you can go file a motion down at the courthouse. Like I, I've never personally dealt with evictions, but I know people who have dealt with evictions. I mean, I'm not in Colorado, obviously I'm up in the Pacific Northwest, but you know, we, <laughs> we you know, I can't imagine it's too different. You know what I mean? It can't be wildly different. Now, state laws can vary, but I imagine it's pretty similar to some of the stuff that friends in in the past have dealt with that I've watched go through and, you know, um, but like I said, you can find support and you can find ways to stay, especially when you have children. So, but nah, they're not going to do any of that because who wants to, you know, who wants to get off their fat ass and do shit like that? Not them. I mean, <laughs> Shannon came and bothered to wash her hair. You know what I mean? Like, do you think she's gonna get up and show up to a court date? <laughs> yeah, right. Person has a fake panic attack and complains of chest pains and probably goes and takes some heroin because, dude, that chick has a fucking heroin voice. I can't stand her voice. It's like, ooh, <laughs> ooh. And every time she's like, yeah, man, I'm like, shut up, bitch. You know, there's a hippie, there's a dead hippie from the hate. He wants his voice back. You racist piece of shit. Sorry. <clears throat> Was that the truth coming out? This is where the shit gets really good. This is the part where I started being like, what? What is happening here? What is even going on? So they pack up their shit or not all their shit but a lot of their shit and they get in their little dodge durango <gasps> excuse me oh, it's been a long day um they get in their dodge durango and they proceed to drive from colorado to pennsylvania sorry no offense to people in pennsylvania i would like to apologize to the state of pennsylvania for what you are about to receive I am truly sorry. I should never call you pencil fucking vania. That's just, that's just kicking you when you're down. Anyways, prayers for Pennsylvania. Shit, pencil fucking vania. They alienated my Pennsylvania fans and now I'm canceled. <laughs> so anyways, I'm watching them drive and you know, just basically bitch nonstop about their poor life and how horrible things are and, and how their eviction is the Democrats' fault, which I was like, oh, good one. Blame an entire political party on the fact that you can't pay your fucking bills. Nice. You're so fucking stupid. I can't with you. Oh my God. But yeah, whatever you want to say, dude. Yeah, yeah, sure. It's the Democrats' fault. That's, I mean, fuck, dude. Always fucking you over. I mean, God... How's that EBT card working out for you? Yeah, I see you cook on that EBT card. I mean, I'm not, I'm not interested in what you're cooking. Like, it looks like it will give me E. coli and salmonella and herpes and probably the clap. They're driving cross country, their kids are in the back. The way Rev talks to those children is just abhorrent. It's disgusting. It makes my skin crawl. And the littlest kid, the way he sits there and takes the blame for his messy room and I'm like, honey, you're a child. This ain't your fault. This ain't on you. It's just, oh my God. It just, it breaks my heart. These kids don't have a fucking chance in hell. Like even if they were removed from the home, I worry about, you know, is foster care gonna be great? Is, is, I mean, what, what, what are we gonna do for these kids? Like, this isn't right. Something needs to be done for these kids. Anyways, I'm not, maybe I'll like put in a few pictures of their apartment so you can kind of get an idea in case you haven't seen it, but I, if I do, because I'm still on the fence about whether or not I even want to like expose you to that kind of nastiness. Um, but if I do, um, I'll just, I'll put it out right now. Brace yourselves. 
I'm saying the things I'm saying. Like you, if you've never heard of them, you might be, dang girl, you know, you maybe want to dial it back a little bit. If you see these pictures, it might make sense to you. <laughs> so, um, but I'm pretty sure you're all pretty aware of who I'm talking about. They're driving. Rev says, hey, anyone wants to go get some of stuff that I've left behind, help yourself or something to that nature. And he basically told his live stream, you know, help yourself. So some people went over and they filmed their house or townhouse or luxury apartment or what the fuck that place is. The gateway to hell. But they went in, they, they got footage, and then like literally Shani and Rev are like, we never said you could go in there. You went in there and you trashed the place. Now if I do insert a picture, I might insert a picture here. Right? <laughs> you might think you can handle this footage. Like, listen, I've watched many episodes of Hoarders. I couldn't handle some of the footage I saw. Uh, I mean, their place made hoarders look clean. I mean, now I've seen some houses. I've seen some stuff. Um, but I'm telling you, the child's bed, the younger kid's room, Shani and Reb's room, the bathrooms, the cat box, the fridge. You know how bad it is to be exposed to large amounts of cat urine it's, it's really bad um i have three cats we have to clean the cat litter boxes out like every day <laughs> welcome to having cats <laughs> like the cat boxes need to stay clean it's just kind of part of the deal like you want to have a cat you have to clean the litter box every day you can't be squeamish about cat poop you have to clean that shit up literally this litter box is overflowing with cat feces it's disgusting the boys are just pissing on the rug and on the mattress and just like what the fuck so anyways there's these rumors circulating that cps did come to their house but they wouldn't let them in i don't know much about child protective services or if you can refuse to let child protective services in if they come to your door i'm thinking you can because i feel like child welfare services are just such is such a broken part of our system so they're driving across country and they're yelling at their their freaking live stream the whole way ignoring their kids like they always do like nothing new you're trash read my lips you are trash Rev, you too belong in prison. Okay, did you get that? Is it, is it clicking in your little pea brains? How, <laughs> you fuck with kids, you fuck with animals. It's done with me. We're done. You cannot salvage any sort of comeback with me. It will not happen. We'll hope that this you know, if enough of us make a video, maybe YouTube would be like, what the fuck is going on over in this corner? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like there needs to be some serious regulations when it comes to these fuckers <laughs> and this fuckery that they do on a regular basis. And, and anytime they pray to God, I just, I want, I want to see God just come down and bitch slap them, which actually kind of happened. Okay. So this is so good. And I invite all of you to watch of that footage because shit was so good. So, okay, the best part of this whole thing yesterday was Rev and Shani are driving through Kansas City. Now, I've never been to Kansas City. I don't feel like I'm missing out on much. Correct me if I'm wrong. If I got fans from Kansas City, you know, tell me like, tell me some good shit about Kansas City. You know, because trust me, I want to go to all 50 states, so I might actually end up in Kansas City one day. So, you know, you, you know, tell me what's good in Kansas City. I need to know because I have a goal, 50 states. Missouri and Kansas happen to be two of those states. So I'm coming for you, Kansas. <laughs> 
<laughs> so it's on. But anyways, they're driving through Kansas City and they're talking hella shit. And even I'm like, damn girl, why don't you chill out on Kansas City? What did Kansas City ever do to you, you dumbass crack whore? Oh my God, like the shit talking was real. But then it got so good because <laughs> It was like right out of the office like they're following their GPS you know like the episode when Michael and Dwight like follow the GPS right into the lake and you're just like it was just that it was gold <laughs> so <laughs> I don't know what happened I wasn't I, I was trying to see what the GPS was saying but like I said I don't know these highways so I don't know Comment down below if you know the highways they were driving. What the hell happened with Rev and this, this fuckery? Okay, so he gets off the highway or the interstate. I think it's the interstate. I think it was I-70. I don't have any experience with I-70. So, <laughs> just like drive, like off-roading next to like train tracks. <laughs> it's just, it's hilarious because like, what the fuck are you doing? So, there, and like, you can see like overpasses and you can see cars driving by. And the only thing I could think of is just imagining like me sitting in the passenger seat, driving past and looking down going, what the fuck are they doing? <laughs> Shit, what's Jabba the Hutt doing down there? What are they doing? They're just like, and then Shani says the weirdest thing. She's like, I trust my instincts. I know about train tracks. And I'm like, were you a hobo in a past life? <laughs> what the fuck are you even talking about? Trust my instincts. I'm like, bitch, I would not trust your instincts. And so then they're praying to Jesus. And I'm like, Jesus, leave Jesus out of this one, you two. They're car wrecks on the train tracks, of course. And of course, so, so you know, does Shani have any like concern for her children and be like, hey, get out of the car, it's on train tracks. Like, what are we gonna do if a train comes? Nah, she just lets them sit in the back seat. Like, it's fine. And then she proceeds to have another fake ass panic attack. And she's like, oh, I'm having heart problems. I need to go to the hospital. And I'm sorry, I didn't buy it for a fucking second. You saw an opportunity you couldn't care less about anyone else if your kids were okay if your man was okay like you were just yelling at him like can you move over like are you serious he's fucking driving you dumbass bitch can you move over oh my god like seriously and then she's like i moved the car and i'm like well all you had to do was lean into it and i'm sure it fell over Sorry, truth hurts, but I have nothing nice to say about this dumbass hoe. <laughs> anyway, so so then she goes to the hospital. Oh my god, what a waste of resources. What a waste of those nurses and doctors' times too, by the way. And she's like all crying because she got tore it all, which is just basically like <laughs> it's just it's basically like ibuprofen. <laughs> which I thought was awesome. She did get an Ativan, which I think <laughs> that was just a mistake. And then now they're somewhere in Ohio, I guess. So pray for the state of Ohio. I mean, Ohio's got its problems, but you know, they don't need that kind of shit going on. Prayers for Ohio. Oh God. Lord, Lord, help, help Ohio. They're really going through it right now, Lord Jesus. Please, Wrap your loving arms around the state of Ohio. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. And Lord, if you see it fit to, to just give a little, little extra love to pencil fucking Vania, <laughs> they really need you right now. Just give them a little squeeze, give them a little something something, cause they's about to get some too fucked up residents. <laughs> So that's where we're at. And I guess so the latest stream is Shani and Rev got the bed and the kids get to sleep on the floor. So that's cool. Nice.
way to keep it classy. I mean, you might as well just let them sleep in the car. So, so now here we are, working solutions, working solutions. What can we do? Well, I don't know, man. I mean, <clears throat> is there any family that could possibly intervene that's not as fucked up as they are? I don't know. So, you know, and then I know like there's foster care systems and, you know, having the children removed would be ideal and having them two in prison would be ideal for them. These two fuckers belong in prison. Like they should not be out and about. Mm -mm. And she should not be reproducing. And God help these two kids, you know, the repercussions is going to be horrible. The amount of emotional distress they are causing these children is, I can't even imagine what these kids go through on a daily basis. The things they're told by Rev, then, I mean, I hear him tell him to shut up. You're annoying me. You didn't, you don't get to sleep on the bed because you didn't thank me properly. Like, are you serious? That's not how this works, you dumbass hoe. So I've never seen two more self-involved pieces of trash in my fucking life. And I've seen a lot of trashy ass people, but they take the cake. So anyways, I just want to get it out there. I just want more attention, as much attention as possible drawn to this. Because I think the more attention that is brought on this, the more likely they would be brought up on charges, which I think is the best possible outcome. And then, you know, the state of Pennsylvania would have no choice but to, you know, um, place the children in protective custody, at least. I mean, I'm starting to think that even a shitty foster home would be better because at least the kids would have, like, clean clothes. And, I mean, these kids don't even bathe. They, they pee on the floor. Like, berating them and, and possibly hitting them and, and calling them names. That's their choice. That's the choice they've made is to not parent their kids. So, <clears throat> so that's disgusting. And, and I know that there's tons of kids out there who are going through the exact same thing as these two children are. And it's just heartbreaking to think that people would do such a thing, you know, that they would treat animals like this, they would treat kids like this, like, how could you? How could you do that? So, yeah, they they belong in prison. I said it. I will say it a million times. You belong in prison. I will say it to your face. Actually, I don't want to get that close to you because I'm pretty sure you smell horrible and I'm good. <clears throat> so, you know, Shannon, go ahead and quit your crying and drink your soda. I mean, I think your three remaining teeth are still hanging on by a thread. So maybe, you know, I don't know, pump a little bit more sugar into your system and see if you can lose some more teeth. You know, just be gone. Be gone. Shoo. Shoo. You're nasty. Shoo. They shouldn't have a platform if this is what they're putting out there. You shouldn't have a platform if this is what you do. If you promote abuse and neglect on a live stream with your children, like talking to your kids the way they did, oh my God. So anyways, that is all for me. Everyone have a great night. Hug your kids, hug your pets, hug your husband, treat each other with respect. And um, if you see something, say something, man. So, you know, let's advocate for people without a voice, like children. Just, uh, and their kid is autistic. So I have a sister who's on the spectrum. And it just, <laughs> I'm fresh out of fucks for those two. And I don't want anything else to happen to the kids. I don't want anything worse to happen than what's already happened. And they don't do anything to earn your respect either because I know my I know my viewers. And let me tell you, they don't they don't deserve your respect either. I will see you in the next video. But until then, just stay well. Thank you. Love ya.